This is the actual mower that I used when I was 11, 12, 13 years old to get started with. Hey everyone, it's Mike Andes here at LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. Today I'm at Carl's Mower here in Ferndale. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Steel and Honda didn't tell me to make this. It's just being able to give you guys an idea of how to start your lawn care company with only $1,000 to spend on equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the setup, what everything costs, and really give you some recommendations. If you're, again, if you're just starting with $1,000, you just wanted to get some, some lawns under your belt and get started. So, first of all, the mower, the most important thing. And in my mind, when it comes to equipment, you can even cheaper, you can get started for even cheaper than $1,000 just with a rake and a blower, and that's really all you need, maybe, maybe a bin. But if you're gonna actually get a mowing setup now, this is the mower I'd recommend you get. This is a residential quality mower. It's not commercial. It's definitely not going to be lasting you 20 years and mowing hundreds of lawns every day. This deck is not the highest of quality. It's not commercial. Again, there's plastic here on the, uh, on the wheels. And this, this system here for, for adjusting, over time is gonna not work very well if you're doing hundreds of lawns. It's all plastic, etc. But again, this is a great mower to get started with. It's not commercial, uh, but this is the actual mower that I used when I was 11, 12, 13 years old to get started with. A few different, different things I like about it a lot is up here we got our drive control and it's really, really simple to adjust where it's here on the bar. So if your hand's up here, really, really great because it's also very light. So this is why I liked it when I was young. Like when I was 11 years old and I was like yay tall, I could barely see over the dash as it were. Um, this is a great mower because it's very light. You can pick it up very simply. You can actually pick it up by yourself simply by going like this and picking up. So what's great about that you might not have a trailer, you might not have a ramp rack, you might not have any of that stuff, but you can literally pick this up and put it in the back of a truck, a small Ford Ranger or anything like that. So again, this is the GCV 170 Honda. Again, you're gonna see more plastic than metal because this is not a commercial graded uh, mower. You got your bag in the back, large size, works great, has the mulching ability here on the side, so you can either mulch your clippings or just move this handle over and now you're bagging your clippings. So again, another nice feature that's been added in the past few years from Honda. Um, so this mower here is gonna run you $420. Um, about a third of what it would cost if you went and got like a commercial graded mower. So definitely a lot cheaper, definitely gonna be a little bit less of quality build just because it is only a residential mower. Now let's move over to other pieces of equipment you're going to need. Ideally, when you're getting started with mowing, you need to do three things, mow, trim, and blow. So we got our mower, now we talk about trim. So this is the steel uh, combi system. This is the KM56RC, and this is gonna run you about $200, $180 for this bad boy right here. Then what you're gonna be able to do is attach these different attachments. So right here, I got three different attachments. I got a blower, I got a weed whacker, and I got a hedge trimmer. So each of these are about $150 each in terms of the cost. So let's get the exacts on these. So this is gonna be $179, this is gonna be $130, this is gonna be $130 as well. So when you add all this up together, we got 420, we got about $120 a piece for the attachments and a couple hundred dollars for the actual trimmer head itself. What this allows you to do is actually just go ahead and put these attachments directly on to the head. Again, this is not gonna be something you're wanting to do when you have 10 employees because there's gonna be a lot of downtime, there's gonna be, you know, this wing nut can get broken, etc. But when you're first getting started, this is a great option for a blower. Honestly, this is one of the most powerful mowers, blowers you'll actually get. And what's cool is I only have to pay $130 extra after getting the trimmer head. So great option to be able to get started, be able to do your mower, your blower, your trimmer, and your hedge trimmer. So again, be able to actually trim bushes, trim shrubs, all around ground covers and different hedges in someone's lawn. Again, a whole variety of different equipment. You can mow someone's lawn, edge it, blow everything off, do cleanups with the blower, as well as trim bushes when it comes time for fall or spring cleanups. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, $1,000 is all you need to get started mowing lawns. Not, nothing complicated, nothing super expensive, not anything fancy, but definitely you can get started today making money. Thanks so much everyone. Mike, Andy's here, LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. We'll see you next time.